I've been working here since 1962. Long enough to notice subtle differences between people who order the same drink. There have been six so far, always going on and on about their problems as if they had to save the world. Yeah, most people can't tell them apart, but I know what makes each bond tick. The first one, a Scotsman, came out of nowhere. Now, I can't say what it was about him. The jokes, the tuxedo, the way he could casually skewer someone with a harpoon. But it wasn't long before he found himself in the company of the most beautiful women, night after night. The act caught on quick, with that Scottish musk still hanging in the air. A new suit walked in and started calling himself Bond. He served Her Majesty's government, briefly, and we haven't seen much of him since. Then came the 70s, and gadgets. I was always a bit on edge when this one walked in. It seemed like every object he carried was capable of blowing up the bar. Speaking of destruction, he always decimated our guacamole supply. Guacamole. By the time the fourth one strolled in, I was starting to get used to this playboy carousel. However, I only saw him a couple of times, and I didn't mind much either. I won't say he took himself too seriously, but he walked funny and didn't like any of my jokes. It got quiet for a while after the stiff left, and it seemed the world outside was changing fast. By the time the next guy came in, he was more than just a movie star. He had video games too, and to this day, that dude still helps college kids get stoned. Then came a superhero, an action junkie, a guy with real brass balls. He didn't look like the others and made people a little nervous. But it was clear right away that he might just be the best of the bunch. So good even, just the thought of his replacement. <clears throat> right, right. Let's all just watch Spectre and deal with that other mess later. Hmm.